Alright friends, so this is just a quick short one on how to do uh, basically advanced kind of scaffolding. You see this curved shape here. Um, hey, I need to fix that because you want to make sure that they match. There we go, that's better. No hard edges. So, how do you make that curved shape? So, and, and, and why? We want to get up to these guys. Now, we could, you know, set up a support. You notice go in like this and we can get it there we can do that and that'll work this is just fine one of the other things that we do though uh, to make life a little bit easier for removal and cleaner less resin all that good jazz <coughs> is create support bars we go like this now that's a straight line if I try to go from here to here let's see here you know actually that that fits just fine but sometimes it doesn't fit just fine so what you do is you highlight the bar Go into advanced mode, grab one of the ball, uh, balls, doesn't matter which one, and holding the control button, just lightly jiggle that, and you notice it turns it into a support. Now you can come back to the center bit, again holding the control button, just kind of pull that out, give yourself a nice little angle there, and then find your supports, generally because you have two, because you're you know, putting it between two things, and just create a little um, brace like that. And then now you've got this handy dandy little... Uh, platform upon which to do supports uh, and in this case you know it's just to grab that one but it gives us a better angle this will remove nice and clean and um, you know in the same way that I just made this little support bracing right here to catch this this is just making this more stable and reliable this would have printed before it had an upward angle it wouldn't generate an island but now when this bit gets up to there it'll be much more stable and what it enables us to do, you know, I just cloned that. Now I'm going to grab this support bar and pull it out. And again, this is all holding the control button uh, while I'm doing these movements. This is what allows you to move in free space. Um, and move this up a little bit. Come here and see now that is not optimal. <laughs> Get that fixed. There we go. And you notice now we've got this handy dandy little set of trees that we're doing here. And one of the things you'll notice, kind of got a little overhang there. You just bring it right back down. And you can do the same thing over to here. So we'll clone that again. And now we come over. Ah, we're outside of our bounding area. Again, same thing as that, not going to hold a lot of weight, but you go like this, and suddenly you've got something that will hold a whole lot more weight. And if you really want to be uh, engineering oriented, make a triangle. These triangles hold all of the weight. <clears throat> and again, you'll notice a lot of what I do is here is I, I take this guy, this bar that I made, now I clone it, and I can grab this top, uh, this little top bit, and now I've got, it's just giving you a lot more flexibility. And if you don't know, again, the, the way that I'm able to just draw that support to nowhere is uh, by holding the uh, control button. Uh, it allows you to just free draw with the, uh, the supports. Uh, super grateful for Lightyear for making that. So that's just a quick little video on how to, to make little support braces like that that you can build off of. A little bit of uh, support to nowhere. We're going to try and make more of these short videos just to show people how to do some of the fun stuff in Lightyear.